Guantanamo Bay. The name still rings with the cries of the tortured. And tortures developed at Guantanamo Bay or used there have spread to other prisons, such as California's notorious Pelican Bay facility. The exact same force beating by a tube to the nose that Guantanamo Bay is famous for is also used in Pelican Bay against hunger strikers. The 6th of September, anti-war actress Andre Thomas Contreras, who had been on hunger strike for almost two months, submitted to this procedure in front of the White House to show you all just how bad it is. So thank you, Andre. The Do you agree to be force-fed? No. Do you agree to be force-fed? No. We're going to feed you whether you agree or not. No. Get in the chair. Andre is being restrained so that he will be forced to have a tube shoved down his nose yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna give you a last chance do you agree to into be his me? esophagus and they will try to avoid pushing the tube through the cribriform plate which goes to the brain which I have seen x-ray of a tube that missed the esophagus and went instead straight up and through into the brain oh. so there are Numerous risks associated with this painful, unpleasant procedure. And this tube is going to be threaded into the nose. Asking him to swallow something to it. As he points the tube, he's trying to make it not go into the brain, not go through the cribriform plate, but to go straight down. Which is why he's trying to point it downward towards the esophagus, towards the belly. Instead of pointing it up towards the brain, where it can go through the cribriform plate to the brain. And we've seen x-rays of this. I saw one myself in the emergency room when I worked there. As an example to nurses and doctors. Right now, he's, they're holding him down, trying to force it past the mucus, past the sensitive tissue of your nose, into the esophagus, holding him. He's suffering. He's... This is all being done completely against his will. It's an outrage. This is a crime against health professionals and patients all over the world. It's a crime against human rights. And it's going on right now today. And our country is responsible. Right now he's probably having some difficulty even catching his breath because the tube is the size of the nostril. And it's sometimes hard to breathe while this is going on because everything tenses up. You reject the foreign object of the tube going into your nose. And they put some Vaseline on there, some lube, to try to make it slide down the nose easier. But it's really hard to avoid the breakage of the capillaries and the resistance of your tissues to the foreign tube going in. Now they're sucking it to see if there's any testing to see if they have it in the right place or maybe it landed in the lungs instead of into the belly into the stomach and the esophagus there's always a chance it can go into the lungs so that when you start feeding the liquid feeding could go into the lungs and just this last weekend i was testing that in a little premature baby to make sure i'm not pouring tube feeding into the lungs so right now the doctor is trying to establish he's listening to the belly with his stethoscope to see when he pushes on the syringe of the tube and pushes air into the tube, into the belly, does he hear gurgling in the belly, which is a reassuring sign that the tube is in the right place and not in the lungs. Because the tube feeding, when you pour tube feeding into the lungs, you die. You can easily die of aspiration pneumonia. Uh. Andre, Andre, how does it feel? It's unbearably painful right in the, in the core of my throat. Uh, God, it feels like it's in my lungs. Yeah. Move that sign. Yeah. Move the sign. Move the sign. Don't move, 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 move it. Don't move it. Don't move it. Okay, don't move it. Oh my God. The prisoners don't even speak English. They can't even tell the, the torturers how they feel. And at least, they're not intentionally trying to harm me, and it feels horrible. It feels it, insanely painful. It, I, it feels, oh God. Do you feel like throwing up? Do you feel nauseous?
just trying to get eight ounces down into his belly. Normally he'd be surrounded by several police, the military. When this procedure happens in prison, there are like eight guys holding you down, and they're not as nice as what's going on now. So we're talking about almost taking 10 minutes 
to get eight ounces of fluid down. Normally it would take less than two seconds. If you push it, the doctor said. Andre, do you want to say something? My plan was to continue to be in solidarity with the prisoners who suffer this torture every day. I can't tell you in this moment whether I will be able to or not. But I know I will continue fasting. It's been 61 days on water only and now I get a little bit of nutrition. I hope it lasts a long time. Because I don't want to repeat this anytime soon. That's right, brother. And they get this twice a day. Every day. And that to me is unimaginable. It's absolutely unimaginable. I think we should have a national nonviolent insurrection. Yes. yes. We need to rise up to stop this torture. Yes. I am living it in my bones and in my yes. blood and in my breath right now. President Obama! Stop the torture now! Yes. You have the power to stop this force feeding now! You do not have to wait for the Congress to authorize anything! You are the Commander-in-Chief! Give the order! Stop the force feeding now! Stop the force feeding now! Stop the force feeding now! to pledge non-compliance with forced feedings, with torture. There are many human rights conventions against this and many precedents for healthcare professionals not to be involved in treatments that abuse patients that go against their wishes. I'm representing today thousands. Oops. They just yanked out the tube, which is can be almost as uncomfortable as when it goes in. Yes. And it can be done in such a way that's even more painful if the guards and military choose to make it like that. And it leaves the nose with a raw feeling, with slight trauma to the capillaries, to the to the blood dripping a little bit. Or more, depending on how it was done, and with how much force and how much trauma. How do you feel, Andre? Uh, it, it felt like endless agony. I, I, I have no clue. I had this procedure done to me 15 years ago. For It was an endoscopy where they put the camera down into your stomach so it's, it wasn't a feeding but they did have to put the tube inside through my nose and at that time I, I, I had the, the urge to vomit again and the doctor was brutal he was not at all caring it, it, it was very very sad the way he treated me and he was insulting me for wanting to have a gag reflex but it's the only thing my body could do Right now I can swallow and it's healing for me to swallow, but any swallow that I did, I could feel the tube all up and down my throat and it would just aggravate it and cause pressure and cause deep pain. And when he pulled it out, it was even painful. It was excruciating and I had no idea that was gonna be so painful. And to imagine that this happens twice a day and that every one of us listening and every one of us watching is probably helping to pay for this. Think of it. Think of your dollars going for this torture. It makes each one of us complicit. Yes. Please escalate your resistance. 